Hello everybody, this is Darren. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And this is hopefully a quickie little thing. I just wanted to show you something. Uh, so this was the shulker loader that I kind of built and showed last time. And it's, as I said, it's kind of a big clunky mess. Uh, so I came up with this. Quite a bit more compact. Um, I had the idea that uh, the dispenser being underneath was was kind of a little bit of a problem just getting redstone signal to it and this makes everything so much simpler and it's actually pretty easy to build this is probably more or less the same shulker loader that everyone else is using but i want to build it over there actually let me show you something here so i have a couple empty shulker boxes here so it works pretty good so if i load empty shulker boxes in there and then I have a shulker box here that's almost full, but not quite. Pop, pop, pop. And I place it down right here. And then when I put one more, uh, wow, Barb got an advancement called suit up. Oh, iron armor. I wonder if I've done that. Okay, so if I go and put can I reach? Yes. So if I put this guy in there, it breaks the the shulker box and redispenses. It happens pretty quick and it ends up in here. Pretty cool. Uh, so uh, the only downside here is I can't come up with a really easy way to put a reset circuit control from the outside. I can probably do it. It's going to take a lot of repeaters and stuff. So I, d I have it on the inside here so I can like force it to break the shulker box that's there. Uh, but the problem is that the pulse on the button is long so that it tries to dispense when the uh, the piston is still extended. Uh, but that's a way if you need to empty out the thing from inside, that's, whoops, that's a way of doing it. And then I have another button over here that just triggers the dispenser so you can uh, load it or cycle it through, whatever. Up. nice so it works super reliably it took me a lot of mucking around to come up with the right layout and circuit largely because I was trying to put a hopper underneath which I thought would be needed for the piston pushing down on it to break the shulker box turned out not to be a uh, problem because I have hopper behind and and uh, solid block to the side it forces there's a hopper underneath this comparator and it forces the shulker box to come over this way and the hopper picks it up so it kind of works super uh, super reliably so let's build this thing let's build it over here where i actually need it um and let's uh set up let's uh let's do a couple things here let me get a little set up and then I'll show you how it goes together. Hi, Squiddy. How are you? Okay, so this is the top of the item elevator. And it goes pop up into here and then flows forward in this. And look, we already have almost a stack of ink sacks just waiting here. Go. Uh, so here's what's going to happen. Shulker box is going to go here. Uh, and then over next to it, let me get some slabs here. Uh, I'm going to put a couple slabs, and then I need to put the dispenser here. That is the dispenser. Boop. And then we need to put up a... Uh, that's where the shulker box goes. Here's where the piston goes. Uh, and then uh, take out these. And then we need to put up a piston that end up in there it did indeed okay so we got a piston here need it to face down pop um we can knock that out we will put something up there eventually to prevent stuff from spawning but for right now not important and then uh there's going to be a few spots up where we're going to have hoppers running into a chest here right so pop pop and pop the wall of redstone is the, the sandstone is going to be right here. Pop and pop, pop. So it kind of gets hidden. I'm going to build a box around this basically. So then from here, 
We've got a couple things. So, circle box goes there. We need a comparator. A comparator will detect when the shulker box is full, but it can only do so when it has a signal to compare to. So I've got redstone here, blocks of redstone. I could probably do this with a torch, whatever. It's gonna compare it to that. And then from here, we have a couple things. So I've got to put in more slabs there, and then uh, blah, blah, blah. So I need a repeater to go into the dispenser. And I'm going to put it on four ticks. And then from here, I think I need more there. And then we need redstone dust. And the redstone dust, I think, goes here and here. And now we need a repeater that goes up here. Pop. Pop. And then I need to get up to that. So we're going to put half slab there. And then we're going to put have oh sorry mr torch i need you i need your space so we're going to put a slab there a slab there um yeah so by leaving this as a half slab i can actually access the dispenser here from this side and then i can like those can be full right so if i put dust 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 it all connects and that may actually be it we may be done. Uh, I did find that it works more reliably when I had a full block here. I may as well just fill it in. And let's go ahead and make some stairs here so we can get up on top. Oops, not there. Whoa, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. So let's test it. Um, so the uh, so ink sacks are starting to flow into there I need so I have a thing full of uh, sandstone there so I'm gonna need some empty shulker boxes but I have a stack of shulker shells so I should be able to make enough here so we can come up here and just for test purposes I'm gonna load in two empty shulker boxes and then um, this is full, it's of sandstone, but that's fine. Doesn't entirely matter. Hey, cooperate. Ugh. Oh, ha, ah, that's right. That's why it looked different to me. I wanna put a block right here so that when this comparator turns on, it powers this block and then turns all that. So this is my shulker box full of sandstone. I should be able to place it here. And this is an empty shulker box. And this and my full shulker box ended up in here. That's how it works. So this uh, shulker box actually is no longer empty because the hoppers coming out of the item elevator are starting to fill up that shulker box. And when it gets full, it will dump it into here. Pretty cool. So next, we need more hoppers. Oh, I have hoppers. I need a couple of chests. So what we want to do is I want to be able to load up the the dispenser here. Oh, be careful. You know what? We should put... Do I have no more slabs? Did I put it away? Yes, I did. I think we can put a slab up on top of this and it will not affect things. All right. Um... So, I want to be able to load more than just nine shulker boxes in here. So, we're going to put a hopper, and then we're going to place chest and chest. So, we can load this up with shulker shells. And uh, just to prevent any spawning on here, we'll cover those with half slabs. We can slab all this up, or I'll probably... Uh, uh, probably slab that just to be safe. Um, but we'll probably use some sea lanterns and to build the roof here. Uh, so in the meantime, wait, why do I, I have a full shulker box there. Okay. So what we can do, let's test this. Let's put, uh, this shulker box down. 
Let's empty out some of the redstone stuff back into my redstone chest. Plop, 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 plop. And let's go grab. These are all of the ink sacks that have been collecting. Uh, and so what we can do is we can just load them up here and they'll start streaming out. And it won't quite fill it up, but we'll have to go back and, and refill the hoppers. But we can actually see this thing in action. Sounds like a plan. So this is pretty much the the shulker loader. It's super compact. Uh, I, I think it's super compact. I think it's pretty cool. And we can put... Let's see. Let me grab a torch. So we can put it here. And as I said, we'll, we'll light the interior of the room. And then I'll build an access uh, of some sort into it. But we can uh, kind of do this. Oh. Uh, no, I want to leave a little more room than that. Ouch. So, yeah, that's so that's the plan. What I can, as I said, what I can do is I can put a button. Do I have a couple buttons of some sort in here? No, I do not. But I can make a couple easy enough so what I can do is I can put buttons on here to sort of force the matter give me two buttons please and I'll put one on this block here and put one on this block here so this here will just tr trigger the dispenser which will cause it to try and dispense of course it can't because there's something in the way right now if I trigger this it will trigger both uh, pretty much without sufficient delay it'll it'll trigger the the piston which will break the uh, shulker box and then it will also trigger the dispenser but the piston will still be extended at when when it happens and there's not a convenient way in this tight space to put enough delay on on this to wait for the piston to be done but that's okay so we are going to and i want a little bit of space in here for that so maybe we build this out here is this I mean I could come in there and hit this but I also want to be able to come in here and have a, enough room to load the shulker boxes and all that good stuff so we'll do that so we could bring this uh, this right here was to pre prevent me from falling down inside so we can replace that with the wall and as I said, I just need some sort of access and we'll decorate this up. But this thing will be about this size. And the only downside to this is similar to the other loader design I had, I can't tell what's in this inside this shulker box uh, because uh, you can't open it because it can't open up the the piston is in the way so that's a little frustrating but we can we can sort of force the issue here and do that and wait for off to grab some more but eventually whoops let's see I don't know how long it's going to take. We can figure it out because it's basically the speed at which these empty out. It takes a little while to load up a shulker box. But let's grab some more ink sacks to be safe. It's probably more than we need. But we need to start loading these up anyway. So the cool thing is that we'll be able to come up here and there will be full shulker boxes filled with, filled with the ink sacks and we can just grab one and go and then we have plenty of ink to do whatever we need to whatever dying uh, we need to do or making signed books I don't know what else what else do you do with ink sacks mostly for back black dye and I may all these shulker box shells that I have in my in my inventory here I may make enough shulker boxes to fill this up and the hopper and whatever so that there's plenty to keep it going uh, and then 
I may dye them all black because that's uh, certainly the the ink sacs are black. I don't know. It would make sense to me to have shulker boxes filled with black ink, essentially, to be uh, dyed black. So I'll just take some of the the ink sacs that I've got here and use that. So anyway. Cool. Uh, so let's uh, wait here until it actually goes and triggers, and then hopefully we'll we'll get to see that happen. And there we go. So now we have a shulker box filled with a bunch of ink sacks. Pretty cool. And that one's getting filled up next. Um, so I'm gonna go dump the rest of these in, and. Get them all sort of filled up and get the rest of these going so anyway that's it and i was looking at this and this is a little one two three four wait one two three four one two th oh, three so that's seven deep one two three four and i have it eight wide so this could be made a little seven by seven thing if i put the wall right here and i might do that so anyway I just want to show you that. I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with the design. It's nice and tight and compact. And uh, and it works. It's functional. It's the important part. So that's it. Um, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Bye.